Okay, this is the Baron Cohen alternative method done by Christian Correa. Jesse Ortiz. And Gabby Camacho. The aim of the study is to expand upon the findings and results of the Baron Cohen study of 2001. Speech, regular conversation, and visual feedback will also be studied. Really, and these this will all be relating back to the theory of mind. Okay, so for the participants in the study, there will be two groups. Um, group one will consist of AAS and AHAFA participants. There will be four females and four males. We added the females to, since in the last in the last study they made it was only um 15, 16 males. Um. The age range will be from 25 to 30. The IQ score there will be will be 116. Um, group two will be eight normal random people. Uh, that will be a control. The IQ range will be from 110 to 117. There will be four females, four males. Both groups responded to an advertising ad for free counseling, and both group sample will consist of two white, two black, two Hispanic, and two Asians. Uh, now for the Stooges. There's eight Stooges in total, uh, and all the Stooges are taken from an acting school. And so these Stooges will act. There are two act stu two sad Stooges, two mad Stooges, and two happy, and two that will act like he or she are thinking too much, confused. There are four females and four males. Like I said, they're taken from an acting school, and so they so they really know how to detect a person's feelings. They will be put through a course on understanding the emotions and behaviors of others. So they could collect data as well. Um, location. This study will be conducted in the Boston Lib College Library. Um, we choose this place as it's a more of a quiet place and a big college. People go there. Who knows? The study will last two days. So this will be under the snapshot study sense of the time frame. Um, one day we'll study the autistic people and the other day will be just for the number of people so it will give us more of a time uh, it's a more time to collect the more the data and be more concise and uh, it will like won't put as so much stress on the participant being so fast on one person at a time it will be taking their time and data will be more analyzable and yeah and this also benefits the stooges because it only focuses on one group of sp specific people, such as high functioning autism or Asperger's, on one day, and the next day would be normal people. So, expectations. Uh, we would want the participant in, in the study to do a similar but expanded version of the revised eye test done by Baron Cohen in 2001. Uh, in addition to just observing the people's eyes, which would be the stooges, the participants would, all, will, would also have to account for speech, gestures, and behavior. Um, well, procedures. Um, the variables in the study, the IV will be the type of stooge that they're assigned to. So, like, either the sex or condition. So, for example, one autistic person will be assigned to a male that's acting like his dad. And then the other tested person will be assigned to someone that's very angry. It will be either female or male. So the DB of the study is how the normal people, normal people and the um, autistic and high functioning people, so will like will see the reaction and interact with different type of stages and tell their behavior and stuff. Okay. So for procedures, um, the first step will be participant responded to an advertisement and show. And they showed up to Boston Library and on the assigned date, because we assigned the dates, so like we said, one day for that one and one day for the other one. Then the participants are split up to one, it will be one participant per counselor, each for five minutes per counselor, so the participant will become stressed or the counselor will be like tired of it and it will limit us from like withdrawal and stuff. Okay, uh, for step three, um, after each interview, we said interview, but it really isn't an interview. They're just talking with each other, so we just call it an interview. The participants are given a five-minute break after the three-minute period um, of them writing the reflection on, on the interview. Um, in this reflection, it is recommended to include how they felt, uh, how, this, how they think the stooge felt, and how 
like how the switch actually made them feel because we want to know also like how they felt and like what caused them to feel this way about this from the stooge. Um, after all interviews and reflections are done, the participant will be, give, be given a, um, a questionnaire consists of 20 questions. And this questionnaire, um, some of the questions will be like, what was this participant, I mean, this stooge thinking? Like, what do you think he was feeling? Was he happy? Was he um, mad? Do you think he was thinking too much? Well, you get the point. Um, after the study is concluded and we get all the data we need to come up with a conclusion, each um, participant will be debriefed. So then we will tell them what the purpose of the study really was. So they wouldn't be like, oh, this really didn't help us. Mm, yeah, that's about it. So data collection. Um, there'll, there'll be self-report, obviously, from the questionnaire, from the uh, reflection uh response um and observations also this is why we put the stooges through that course on detecting people's emotions so they could they could obtain first-hand observation of the participants so that we feel like we have enough data and it's 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 able to be collected properly in order to expand upon the study well uh well um, we're coming to a conclusion, so the strength and weaknesses of our study. Um, the some of the strength is the sample because of the variety of people we had, such as the age and the the age and the race of the people, that all that, and also the controls. Um, we picked um, how long they saw the con the stooge for, also like the type of stooge they were assigned to. So they didn't get to pick who they talked to. We reassigned we assigned them to them. And uh, another strength to how long they saw the stooge, um, if in order we, we picked just five minutes because we don't want the stooge and the participant to be overwhelmed by talking to a stooge for 15 minutes and getting tired and getting bored of the whole experience and wanting to leave. So that's why we, we made it just for a brief five minutes so the conversation is vivid and it's, it's back and forth. And the duration of the written part is not that long to an extent where it's gonna it's gonna draw away the participants, and they are giving a break. So I mean, I think we all, I think the whole time, uh, like for example, like each each amount of time they're giving for each step is not too much where they can't handle it. Yeah. Um. Also, another strength if we do brief to each um, participant after. So they didn't go home, like I said, all like messed up. Um, are the witnesses of the study? It's like it's not very really generalizable because we only focus on the Boston Boston area, and we wasn't really a large sample. So it was more of like small sample, more data. We we're able to control it even more because we have if we have like a large sample, we wouldn't really be able to control which type of participant they saw since it was so many people and we would have to go faster. Um, also, there wasn't really enough quantitative data collected in the study. It was more of a standards of uh, qualitative data on how they, the per um, like questionnaires and self-report, that's more such as qualitative data than quantitative data. Also, our witnesses is more on the side of the ethics, not so much in our study. And it, it relating back to, to the quantitative data weakness, um, there is there is going to be some quantitative data just like for example um what percentage of high functioning autism pe um, people were able to detect emotions but is that really enough to expand upon the original findings of baron cohen and strength of the studies um there there everyone was debriefed strength of eth ethical issues everyone was debriefed after the study was concluded they all had the right to withdraw, and they all could leave at whatever time they wanted. It was it was not like they were stuck and they could not leave. But there are also weaknesses to every study. Uh, they were deceived. Uh, they weren't really told that they were not going to be uh, greeted by an actual psychologist giving an actual therapy session. That was never told. And this was not told for in order so we could actually get people to be part of the study. 
Because yeah. I don't believe anyone would want to be part of a study where a, a drama guy was talking to you. Yeah, the, for, it was still Yeah, for help. Uh, there was no consent. They just showed up. And there is possible stress on the, especially on the high functioning autism and the Asperger's group. Not as much as uh, normal normal people, but we uh, there there could be stress in the people that are handicapped. So just because they're really used to, they lack of that cue of talking to somebody and looking someone in the eye because they weren't really born with that. They're they have such that feeling that they can't really look at you straight in the eyes. So that could cause us a problem in our data, how our data was, um, the data we collected, that could be another weakness since they don't really look at you in the eyes. Yeah, it may, it may have been an uncomfortable situation. Yeah. Um, that's it. That wraps up Baron Cohen. Thank you for listening.